Hello and welcome back to another episode with Stevenage. Last game, we're away from home against Wickham Wanderers. Uh, I believe this is a is this the second round of that game we played recently. No, okay, so it's different. We won two one last time. We were at home then. Let's see, can we can we pull off another victory against Wickham? I'll be very surprised if we do. I'll be very happy if we do. Okay, so this is how we line up for this game. We've got a rotated side because it's a cup game and we need to focus mainly on the league, not the cups. So we've got Turner and goal, Vogel, Thomas, our centre back partnership, the normal. Uh, boy Kuster out on the left. I still feel like I'm pronouncing that name wrong, but we move. Uh, Goma out on the right for the defence. Uh, in the midfield, we've got Griffiths and Velasquez, all wrecked off of the attacking mid. Newman out right and Murphy out left with Falka up top. His first game with us, Goma, um, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. Oh, he's very attacking. So attacking, he gets himself caught offside. I realize I haven't done the uh, the untuck of the shirt or the boots or anything on him. Oh, great pass. Great pass and a great goal. Velasquez picked out that pass and I was like, no, you should have gone to Albrecht because look at where Albrecht was. But no, Velasquez knew better than me to send it to Falka, who was just going to smack it into the back of the net with a clean, simple, beautiful strike. But yeah, I was confused about what <clears throat> what Velasquez was doing there when he pulled it back to Falka. I was like, no, we had all braked onside, like inches away from goal. Clearly, Velasquez knows better than I do. It's a very good start though, 16 minutes and we're already a goal up. Go on, pace, go on, oh no. I thought I wasn't gonna get to it, so I tried a standing tackle. I would have been through had I not pressed B there. Nice. Oh, this is a good, this is a good build up. This is a very good build up. This is very good. Although Falco, I just don't think you have the pace. Yes, you do. You have the pace and you have the strike, and that's two, right on half time. That's amazing. What a way to go into half time. Two nil up. It was a great break by us, and then the the finish was was just perfect. What more can you ask for a finish, other than to just stick it there? away from the keeper. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful play. Go for the long shot, Thomas. Okay, well, in my defense, we're two nil up, it was worth the shot. It, it just wasn't a very good shot. Oh, that's, oh, that was almost an absolutely spectacular goal. I think it was going wide. Oh, that's a very good ball. He was onside. Oh, and he just dropped me. Yeah, that. They have deserved a goal, to be fair. I can't say I'm too annoyed that they've scored. I was never expecting a clean sheet, and. I mean, it was just a well taken goal. Oh, no. This play down the left hand side is, is, is really their strength. Because they know we have a completely inexperienced right back. Seeing as it's literally his first professional game ever. He's done great for it, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he's bad, but I'm just saying inexperienced. Oh, that's not what you wanted. Inexperienced right back, apparently our centre back's inexperienced as well. Look at that, you should have been there Thomas man, you should have been there. Okay, it was a bit dramatic to dive for that, but... A go off I guess. Oh no! Exactly what you didn't want to happen, and he's just rolled it past. Oh, this is not going well. It's alright, this isn't one of those losses that I'll be annoyed at my players at. It's the second string side against a much higher tier opposition, making a triple change, and it's just all attacking changes for us. So bring on Felisquez, Griffiths, and Falka, bring in on Torres, Kelly, and Schwab. So uh, Ulbricht has sat back into the central mid roll, and Kelly's taken his normal attacking mid roll. Go for it! Oh, that was so close! 87th, you've got to think that that was our chance. Marvin? Marvin? No! Yes! No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's... How has that not gone in? Oh, it's not our day, boys. It's not our day. We lost, but I'm not unhappy with it. They played very well. We had a great first half, but just couldn't quite hold it. I'm not. I'm not disappointed with the lads, it was, it was a valiant effort from them. Proud of the lads for getting a 3-2 result. It's the second string side, they got a 3-2 result out of it. Fair play to Wickham, that does mean we're at the FA Cup. Alright, second game of the episode, we're at home against Port Vale. Um, so depending on the result of this, we could go top. Who have Mansfield? 
got to play today. So Mansfield are playing Forest Green Rovers and we're playing Port Vale. So it's a difficult game, Port Vale, because they're in seventh. Our first team's fully rested as well, which is very nice. Give it a go, but first of all, don't think I forgot about you, Goma. There we go, that's that's how Goma's gonna be looking. I like that look. He's looking good. This is how we line up. The one main change to note is that Ragavan's on the bench instead of Brown. Ragavan's higher overall, so I'm just gonna try him. I, I'm just gonna keep switching between the two of them consistently because it's just a good thing to be able to switch between the two of them with Davis as our first choice. Goma! Oh, ho, ho. good attempt though. I can see Goma being one of those right backs that ends up scoring a bunch. I just got a feeling that he's just. He's just going to be very attacking, he's just going to score from out wide. Patrick, you've got to get this in, and of course he does. It's Patrick Kelly, he's never missing a chance like that. You put Patrick Kelly through on goal like that, and he will never miss. Well, he might do. He'll sometimes miss, but you always anticipate him scoring. Terrible by their defender there, just giving us possession. Keeper could have saved that, honestly. Kelly, oh... How the hell did he manage to get a hand on that? The thing is with Goma, I'm liking the look of him because he goes really far up. He pushes way up, but he also gets back. Oh, great save. Defense should have been doing better, but the save was beautiful. Yes, Kelly. Nope. Not a good enough shot from Patrick Kelly, and that is not a sentence you'll often hear me say. We'll just take half time whenever, Raf. Can that be half time, please? Thank you, Raf. It is. No one anywhere. Oh no, that's not what you wanted to do, lad. Was he off? He was on. Oh, that was... I don't know what my defender was thinking. Trying to kick it behind him like that. Who was it? Oh, it was Goma. Goma, mate. What were you thinking? Oh my god. Velasquez, you're through. Come on. Oh, that's beautiful. That's his beautiful play. What a great piece of football that was to get the second goal. We're looking better now. We're looking like we could get these three points. We definitely deserve the three points. We have been the better team and look at that from Velasquez. Get to that Goma. Easy. Keep pushing forwards with it. Yes, that's what I like to see Goma. You have no pace on you though Goma. You are slow as f Oh, that's exactly what we didn't want to happen. All right, Thomas, you're gonna have to cover left back here. No, please. Oh my god. How the hell did we manage to get away with that? Okay, we need to just get it away. No, get it away so we could just regather, regroup our thoughts. Oh my god. We are the luckiest team. Okay. All right, we're making a double sub. Bringing off Velasquez and Davis. Bringing on Ragavan and Albrecht. Okay, we, oh, this is, I'm very nervous here that we're going to just let in a, a last minute equaliser. They've been going all out for it. Boys, this is the most nervous ending to a match I can imagine. Come on, ref. Thank you, ref. That's time. That's three points. 2-1. That was, that was anything but a comfortable victory. But a victory it was. Two good goals from us. And we did it. We won. That's what matters. End of the day at Floating Ball. Uh, end of the day, we got the three points. It wasn't the easiest three points to get, but three points is three points, no matter how you look at it. And after that win, we go top of the table. Mansfield Town must have lost. They did. Forest Green Rovers beat them 2 1. So now, first place, that's where we're at. That being said, second to fourth all on one point behind us so it's not like we're in a comfortable first i would not have expected us to have scored 58 goals in 26 games when i started this series but here we are uh, nothing good in that new youth report coming from spain which is annoying but that does mean his scouting is finished so we can send them off to a different country you know what? i'm gonna see if we can find the next sensation from sweden well literally everyone on our youth squad is 15 at the moment it's the worst thing Final game of the episode, we're away from home against Cambridge. Pretty standard lineup from us. The main difference is I've got Murphy on the bench for that for that wide man spot uh, if we need him. Something a bit different. I've been switching between Brown and Ragavan in that second spot, but I know Murphy's a winger, not a midfielder, and we play with a midfield, but I, th I think I think this guy's got something in him. I think I can convert him into a into a strong midfield player. Go on, in 
the center. Lionel's flag stays down, it stands. Yes, lads. That's what we needed. An early breakthrough, an early goal, an early lead. I thought for a second he might have been offside, but he was just left so open in the center of the box. On being played onside, they they really messed up there. Nine goals in the league for the season. Takes him, I believe, only one off uh, top scorer for the season overall. It's still the list that's our top scorer back when uh, Marvin wasn't even part of the team. But I'm pretty sure it's now one more goal uh, for Marvin and he's equaled it. Never. Okay, I need, I, why did I go sliding in towards a keeper? That would 100% have been a yellow had I caught him. And that would have been a second yellow. And then there's Kelly. Go on. No! Oh, you saw the nice stop from the keeper, but it went straight to their man's feet, and he was never going to put that anywhere but the back of the net. Our defence should have been better. We were all over the place. And our oh, keeper was just unlucky there. Oh, ref, there's got to be a foul. He was all over him. I've seen the Undertaker touch people less when he's doing a Boomstone pile driver. I mean, I've seen rugby tackles with less holding than that. There's less holding in Rob Holding's name, and his name is literally Holding. Be done to Flores. Good run. Start. Oh, someone give him an option. There we go. There we go. I said someone give him an option. Torres clearly was listening to what I was saying. He was like, oh, yo, I'm an option and I'll score. It was a great pass and then a very, very tidy finish. Be getting pushed outwards by the defender and then managing to slide it in. I do like Sergio Torres. He's, he's a good player, even though we uh, did struggle to get that first goal out of him. He just seems to pop up when you need him. Oh, Vogel. Yes. That's what you love to see from your defender. Vogel goes down. Look at that. Blocks it gets straight back up, puts the pressure on, forces him to just smack it out for a goal kick. That is what you want your centre back to be doing. Just constantly putting pressure on the attacker no matter what it takes. Oh, that's not what you want? Oh, very well cleared away. Ref, can you blow your whistle, please? Ref, please, I'm begging. Great save, to clear it, I don't care where. That's fine. That was very smart by Goma to just smack it off the field because he knew they weren't going to get that corner because the ref is going to blow the whistle for half time. Yeah, I brought Houston way too far out, but what a challenge and to win us the throw. There are times when I question this lad here, Thomas, but there are times when I realise he can pull off spectacular pieces of play and that was a spectacular move. That was a terrible, terrible pass. I don't know what you were thinking there, Marvin. Okay, Custa, you're, you're away. You're still away. You're still away. It's still this. Oh, he's just not getting rid of the ball ever. I'll just go for it, Velasquez. Oh, it was almost, almost a goal as well. What a spectacular and effective pass. Oh, that almost made it through. Kelly. Oh, there you go, but he was offside. Oh, I just felt that Lino flag up. Oh, that's... I, he kind of just teleported into my player's feet there, which I feel is a bit a bit unfair. Yeah, I feel like... I, wanna, I hope this gives me a replay, because I kind of want to see what happened here. <laughs> he was fine, and he just sort of suddenly just snapped down to the ground there. Oh, go, Mar. I didn't. Why? I didn't realize you would be up here. Go on, lad. Oh, Patrick, you just had to kick the ball, and it would have been in. I refer to Kelly as Patrick all the time, even though Vogel's name is also Patrick. But Vogel is Vogel. Vogel's just like such like a standout last name. I, I feel like calling him by his first name just it doesn't do him justice. All right, uh, making a triple sub, bringing off Kelly, Jorge, and Vogel, bringing on Lugano, Murphy, and Albrecht. They're just basically like for like subs. Everyone's just in this you'd expect. No, oh keeper, yes lad. I thought Falco could keep that going, but I mean, great shot by their attacker to just 
hit it on the turn like that. I'd just like to get another goal so I can have that two goal cushion. Oh my god. Ulbrecht, that was so close. Centimeters away from scoring an absolute stunner. Take the shot on, and it's just centimeters wide again. We just cannot get this third goal. I. <laughs> okay, I guess they're just gonna kick it out for some reason. But that is gonna be the final score. We win 2 1. It wasn't the prettiest 2 1 win. 2 1 is 2 1. We take all three points. That's all that matters at the end of the day, which keeps us top of the league. Yes, lads, we're top of the league. No one's taken that position from us as long as I can help it. I'm going to try my best. I could, could you imagine this team of lads winning the league? It would be unbelievable. I'm not confident in it happening, but it would be unreal if these lads managed to win the league. Oh, Cameron Green. I like the look of you, fella. Where are you? Cameron Green, 69 to 94 potential. Defensive mid, 16 years old, 57 overall. You're going straight in my first team, fella. This man's an undershirt and nothing else, man. Just look at him. That just gives me that vibe. So the only other option other than 8 and 10 was 46 so he's the number 46 now that being said now we've got 8 and 10 open we could open that up to some of our current players who, who do i have currently that i think could be a good number eight seeing that number eight available i thought you know what there's only one man for it velasquez he's our number eight it, it just feels right and our new number 10 is ewan davis he's been great i'm loving him so far, he's just showed me such positivity, and it just feels right given that that man wide out on the left, that number 10 shirt. It's the wide left man is the number 10. It just feels right, you know? And look at that. Equal games played with the two people below us, and we are three points ahead of them. I'm going to experiment with this new formation here. It's, it's pretty much the same, except it's more of a 4-2-3-1 instead of a 4-4-1-1. So basically what we have is we have Torres and Velasquez sitting deeper with Kelly up, up higher and Davis and Jorge alongside Kelly. I think one thing we're missing, if you look at uh, the 4-4-1-1 we used to play, was that everything was very close together in that midfield, whereas what we've got now not by a lot, but it does space it out a bit more. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We're top of the league. Let's get it. If you did enjoy, I've always got my links down in the description. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. And I will catch you in the next episode. We get it, we get it, it's over. I go back.